Welcome to Morning Talk with Lenora. Morning Talk. Morning Talk with Lenora. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Uh, it's, I guess, everybody's celebrating a great Memorial Day. Um, it's quite rainy here where I live, so it kind of gives me a kind of tropical feeling, like, you know, out on one of the islands. So I guess I'm on my island, and I got on, I don't have a hula skirt, but I got on my, um, my version. I'm drinking some coffee. Well, since it's kind of rainy and I'm not really in the mood to do a barbecue. I don't, I guess somebody will. Um, but what I did do is, you know, because this is the year of me where I'm doing everything that I love. <coughs> <coughs> kind of got myself a little sick too from overdoing stuff, but I'm trying to settle down. And um, one of the ways I settle down is by watching movies, as I told you. Well, and while I watch my movies, I kind of look at the actors and, you know, and their skill and whatever. So I came up with something. You know, I was like, you know what, these people don't, you know, I don't see them on those major award shows very often. So I decided that I'm going to give them an award. Because I think their work is exceptional. And um, the name of my award is the Cashy Awards. They honor actors in many of our favorite movies. We are acknowledging an impressive body of work that has entertained us through the years. Da -da -da. I don't have any music yet or anything, but that's the name of this award show. Okay, let's start with the first winner. Um, this winner, he receives this award, the Cashy Award, for presenting the most wide range of characters and you know he may fall under the radar at some people but I saw him. His name is Bokeem Woodbine. Well his films, and I got number one is Jason's Larry. Now do y'all remember him playing the brother who was like crazy you know and the, 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 psychi the psychotic portrayal that he did of this um, character was amazing. He did a good job. I mean, I was afraid of him. Um, he also did Life. He played um, Can't Get Right. And he played this actor without, this character without even speaking a word. But, you know, he was memorable. He didn't say one word. Um, he was also in Ray. He played a band member. You know, and uh, it was a different look for him. I mean, he was uh, straight up and down, but he had a drug habit, you know, which he, I guess, for the movie, he kind of um, tried not to introduce his great Charles, but he got it anyway. He was in Dead President. Okay, I don't even need to talk about that, because you know it's a wild portrayal. <laughs> in that movie, he was in Crooklyn, which is a Spike Lee joint, and um, he currently plays Mike Milligan in the second season of Fargo. And so that, my first winner for the most, uh, um, for the most range goes to Bokeem Woodbine. My second award goes to, this is actor is not only an actor, but he's also a singer. And um, some would even say that he's a sex symbol. Um, I, I find him, you know, he's kind of interesting, you know. His name is Leon. His real name is Leon Robinson. And you've seen Leon in The Temptations where he played David Ruffin. You remember? No, but I'm David Ruffin. He played him. He was in the Five Heartbeats where he was also a singer. He played Little Richard. He was in Cool Runnings and, you know, the first Jamaican bobsled team. He was in Waiting to Exhale. He played this uh, cheating married man. And um, he was in Above the Rim with uh, Tupac, I believe it was. And he was in uh, uh, 50 Cent's movie, Get Rich or Die Trying. 
Mm. He's uh, also, he was also, he's also the ex-husband of oh, Cynthia Bailey from Housewives of Atlanta. And our number three award winner, he's a rapper with such a strong stage presence that he took on to, from rapping onto the screen into the theater. None other than Earl Simmons, the Dark Man X, better known as DMX. I love DMX. I like his growl when he sings. You know, I like DMX. Um, he played in the movie Belly, where he played Bundy. And you know, that movie has some amazing visuals. I think it was done, I'm not correct, but you know, I'm just thinking. I think it was done by this guy who did videos. I forgot, I think that's what I heard. But the movie, the visuals, I think are amazing. I mean, it's a rough movie, but you know, you got sometimes you got to see the art, artistry in some things. Um, he was also in Romeo Must Die, and that's the movie where, where Aaliyah, the young lady, the singer that passed early, she was in that movie, as well as Jet Li. He was in Cradle to the Grave, where he played with Gabrielle Union and Jet Li. He was in Exit Wounds with Steven Seagal, and um, Never Die Alone, where he played King David, and I thought that was a cool movie. I really liked that. Like, that was a... Uh, um, I think it was a kind of step out of his box in my eyes. I thought it was good. Um, and, um, of course, I love the song in, um, I think it's in um, Romeo Must Die. Um, X going to give it to you. X going to give it to you. It's nice. Check it out. Check it out. So, again, the, our winner for the rapper with the amazing stage presence that he transferred onto the screen, DMX. Number four, um, I find that this actor has a certain kind of finesse, and he's really smooth in his portrayals. They're believable, but he just kind of, I guess it's a natural acting ability. I guess that's what he has. His name is Wood Harris, and um, he played in Pay It In Full, and uh, I really liked that movie. He was the main character in that movie. I'm going to watch it sometime this week. Haven't seen it in a while. He was in Remember the Titans with Denzel. He was in Creed 1 and 2 with Michael Jordan. I forgot his middle initial. Michael B. Jordan. Um, he was also in the New Edition movie, which we all loved. You know, he played a great role in that. He was in The Wire, the series with uh, Idris Elba. That, you know, I watched years later. I'd never watched it when it was coming out because I wasn't working. I didn't get to see it. Um, he was in Above the Rim as well. And he was uh, Not Easy Broken. I think that's one of Tyler Perry's movies. So if you, were, if you look at this movie, see, he's kind of, I mean, he plays a character, but he's just kind of smooth with his. And again, that is Wood Harris. Number five, um, He's winning this My Cashy Award because um, he's always a gangster. Not like, like he's always, he plays gangsters in some of them, but he's just always, <clears throat> you know, he's serious about his, he brings his acting, acting chops. He's like the man in most of his movies. Um, he, 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 he ha he's always played a demanding character, none other than Lawrence Fishburne. Now, right now he's playing a granddaddy on Blackish, because that's the old Lawrence Fishburne. Well, let me tell you about the younger versions of Lawrence Fishburne. He played the dad in Boys in the Hood. He played, and this is one of my favorite movies, he played in Deep Cover. And that movie was the first movie I ever got in DVD. I think I got a DVD. Well, I know it's on my first one, I watched it over and over and over. I just liked him in his role. He played in Hoodlum with Cicely Tyson as a, um, what's his name, a Bumpy. Um, you know, he played the, the gangster, the real life gangster, Bumpy. I can't remember. It'll come to me. Um, he also played in, and what's love got to do with, with Tina Turner? He played Ike. Now, he should have received, and her, 200 awards. But you know what, Lawrence, I got you. I'm giving you a cashy. 
He played in Matrix. I mean, the series. Morpheus. He was great in that, you know, with them glasses with no things around the ears. What was his word? He played in um, some spikely joints like School Days, Higher Learning. He also played in a very old classic called Cornbread Early Meat. Um, he was in, in prestigious Tuskegee Airmen movie. And he was in a oh, crying girl movie, The Color Purple. You know, he played, you know, he was a piano player in the juke joint. So, I mean, he has a whole, I mean, I know, I skipped a lot. But, you know, those are the ones that I have seen of his. Um, so, it's for the gangster, the, 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 the man, the, the man. Mr. Lawrence Fishburne. And my last nominee, or he's not even nominee, these are winners. All of them are winners. This winner is for his years of acting. He's a well seasoned veteran that, let me tell you something, he can tell my smile, I don't smile. When this man is in the movie, you better believe he's serious about his. And whoever his character is, is going to get the full treatment. His name is Clarence Williams III. Now, being a woman of a particular age, I remember him in the Mod Squad, which was, uh, um, it was a series that came on. He played with Peggy Lipton, who eventually married Quincy Jones. And he played, you know, it was, it was very rare to have a black man on a series on TV at that time. But Link was serious with the afro and the glasses. He was serious. I mean, he was on there, but you know, you could tell he wasn't taking no stuff. I really loved him. He also played in Sugar Hill with um, Wesley Snipes. Yeah, that's a pretty, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family classic, you know, we watch it. It's a pretty good movie. He too was in Hulu. You know, he was, he was serious in Hulu too. You know, he's a, uh, like I say, uh, Clarence Williams III, it, 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 he ain't no joke, you know. He played in Deep Cover. I loved him in Deep Cover. Him and Flor Lawrence Pittsburgh together, they're quite a formidable pair. He was in Purple Rain with a Prince. He played Prince's dad. Um, I mean, he brought all the emotion, if you remember, you know, you really felt for Prince and you understood his story. Clarence Williams III was part of that. He was in life. He didn't last long. He didn't, he, cause he lost his life real early. He was in a butler, you know, with Oprah and, uh, oh, I forgot the man. He's on, um, he's on, I can't think about it. My mind is so full of stuff. He was in Half Fake. Now, he nothing funny or he doesn't serious about Half Fake, so I'll let you see that one for yourself. Um, but, you know, he's, uh, I mean, you, he's such a good actor, and he is so deserving of the Cash Award for a well-seasoned actor who has pro provided us with awesome roles and um, very good acting and I can't just watch these movies and not appreciate the hard work and the artistry that these men have put into these movies. I mean, as you could tell, a lot of the movies have um, They've crossed over with um, various of these actors have worked together because they bring it. You know, um, I just did one about Denzel. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's consistent. I mean, there are a lot of award shows, but you know what? Let's watch mine. Thank you, and you all, I'm about to get interrupted, so you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.